Hey, everybody, it's great to see you again. And yeah, this is the mug I was trying to explain to you at the end of yesterday's video, and then the battery went dead on the camera. We've been busy, and it's been a busy week for Corvette. So much going on. I wanted to help catch you up and do this segment on today's upload called This Week in Corvette. So let's jump right into it. And we start with yesterday's video, in fact. I mean, the desire for information on this new C8 Corvette is beyond crazy. And we had some fun talking about a guy at another Chevrolet dealership. Again, he's doing a nice job. I said that, and I meant that. But I used my silly voice to get a point across when he stated last month talking about how he got a bunch more Corvettes than he anticipated. And then I went online when 2022 ordering started, and I said, well, we got very little. It was kind of sending a mixed message when, in fact, what he got was a lot for him. And I totally get what he's trying to do. I know, making an honest effort to inform people, it's nothing to take lightly. We were able to spin it, put a smile on your face, create some awareness at the same time. Believe me, guys, you know me. If I had an issue with somebody, you would know it. Ron, it's all good in my end, man. Keep up the good work. Thumbs up, dude. And everybody else, relax. We got to have some fun in this marketplace. All right, this week in Corvette continues in Bowling Green, Kentucky, the heart and the home of Corvette at a local mall of all places. Corvette showed off the new Amplify Orange for the 2022 Corvette, and this time it wasn't just a Fender like we saw back in April. GM's first mid-engine Corvette. It was dressed in GM's new Amplify Orange color. A GM official told WBKO News they're excited for the public to see what new products they are innovating. A very awesome car to build, but it's very, very fun to drive too. So, and that's why we hope to sell a lot of them and really keep uh, a lot of people employed here in the Bowling Green community. GM told us they're seeing back orders with the new Corvette and hope potential employees will be excited about the innovative products General Motors is bringing to the table. Now we're guessing you'll see this car at the upcoming Corvettes at Carlisle show at the end of this month. Who else will you see at Corvettes at Carlisle? That's right, Corvette team members on location. In fact, they're bringing 25 C8 Corvettes to this event. They're going to have their own special tent, and everybody's hoping to see the hypersonic gray, the new color for 2022, on a full car, along with the Amplify Orange that you just saw, and the new caffeine <coughs> meatloaf a metallic that is also new for 2022. In addition, you'll see many Corvette team members on location that you can converse with. Harlan Charles, the product manager, Josh Holder, the chief engineer, programming engineer manager, community communications manager, the program quality assistant chief engineers from the transmission department, and a whole lot more at this month's Corvettes at Carlisle show. All right, this week in Corvette continues, and this is a huge topic of conversation. New spy shots galore. We've got two different variants to show you today. I want to thank CorvetteBlogger.com for the use of this, what appears to be a Z06 variant without all the bags all over it. So let's look at it just a little bit more closely. This is at the Nuremberg ring. We're all real nutty on this kind of stuff. I sit there and blow these pictures up like we are right now. And look at this, uh, this multi-level splitter right here. Okay, real dramatic. Uh, looking at the wheels, different wheels there. I always go down the side of the car. <laughs> let's see what else we got here. I got a couple other pictures from same angles. And what's really neat, if you look at that spoiler right there, that looks like a spoiler that we talked about before on the C7 Transformers car. I, I mean, talk about hiding in plain sight so far in advance. Uh, it's actually pretty crazy, but this is a great look at the front end of the car, the stance. There you go. Multi-level splitter right there. Gauging that airflow around the front end of that car. Wow, this thing is going to be just incredible. We got some more shots here for you. Check these out as it goes around the Nuremberg ring. And, of course, everybody wants to know, what's the time? What's the time? I'm sure Chevy will share that uh, in due time. And you could tell, not from this one, but this one even more so, this is a coupe. We know there's a different engine in there. A lot of speculation what it could be. Everybody still is resting on the rumor of 5.5 flat plane crank. This is covered up in camel here, so you can't see inside there. Uh, I am real curious what they're going to do. This is a different type of wheel. I've talked to insiders, and it looks like there is going to be a carbon fiber wheel uh, option for you. This has the ceramic brakes. I'm sure that's going to be an option. 
uh, as historicals have shown us on Corvette, especially with these performance models, look for different versions. So you have like a Z07 package and things like that, stuff that is more specific for the track. And let's look back into here, guys. This looks a little different right back in here. Of course, the center, uh, center exhaust is certainly different. All right, and oh, here's even a better shot of the rear end of this car. Wow, look at that. And sometimes I sit and just look at the stuff on the screen, and I just literally stare at it, try to soak it, soak it in to see, you know, what's different, what we can see. By the time that we saw C8, you know, back in 19, before it was released, in this camo setup, driving around, that was pretty much what the car was going to be. Uh, there was really no more secrets other than the fact that we don't know what's back in here. So that'll be interesting to see. And we're assuming, I don't know if they'll launch it right away, but we're assuming this is also going to be in a hardtop convertible. So yeah, there's looks like they're going to let some extra heat out back over here. Uh, quite interesting. Looking at these spy shots again. Thank you, Corvette Blogger. let uh, see what's back in here. Uh, no, I can't really get a good look. <laughs> trying, trying desperately, right? So there you go, guys. Just want to share that with you real quick. Can't get a close-up on these tires. And in fact, on this new variant, uh, we've got a close-up of the tires, and I did pay for the rights to use these spy shots. I appreciate the opportunity to share those with you guys. I'm sorry for the watermark, but I gotta get I gotta get some marketing mileage out of this deal. So we assume this car is the E-Ray that could be a 2023 or 2024 zoom in. And it looks like there's going to be some new emblem there to signify whatever this model is. That was pretty cool. And looking inside here, now the, what's, look at this big, what is that thing for? And look, we got a better shot of this here in just a moment. Uh, they've got the dash blocked off. So is there some new stuff on the dash? Being that that is some kind of an electric derivative, hybrid, whatever, uh, there's going to be different readouts right there. So they don't want you to see that for these uh, spy photographers that are doing a great job zooming in. Yeah, there it is. Doing a great job zooming in. Look at it, it's all taped up. This is fun stuff. And we don't even know what the heck it is that we're looking at, but uh, have a pretty good idea from the people that we're talking to. And this guy right here, I don't know. If you're uh, in the Corvette world, that looks like Harlan Charles to me. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going with Harlan Charles on that one. Let's see what else, I, I tried so hard. I had the original, ver I tried so hard to blow this up. Great job on the photographer zoomed in on the laptop. I was trying so hard to see what all this said. <laughs> I mean, I'm still digging. If I, if I find out what it is, I'll let you guys know. But again, here, the stuff all taped off. Uh, just, just incredible what is going on with the testing of future cars. And we don't know. There could be stuff testing so far in advance, it would just blow your mind. I thought this was interesting down the HVAC controls. They have this taped off. Now, why would that be taped off? That's where your heated seats and your vented seats are. Same thing down here for the passenger section. So why are those closed off? I don't, I don't know if we're seeing anything very different there, but those are, those are blocked off for a reason. Other than the fact that maybe there's nothing different in the function of that button, maybe what they're doing in that car, they didn't want anybody to push that button. And there was something, oh man, I can't read, see? Something right there. I tried real hard to zoom in and I think that's the best shot. Here's all the cords and wires hanging out from all the testing. And there's a uh, new button right there. See that? We assume this right here is the power, Corvette Blogger actually broke that story years ago this could be the power opening door. Not using the button on the door itself, actually pushing this and opening the door in a power method. Because the button for, well, I can't see it here, the button for the glove box is down over in this area. So there you go, guys. This could be an exclusive right there. This could be the power, yeah, that's got to be the power opening door. How about that? This is car number two over here, as you can see. Real interesting look at this stuff. And another wheel design. And here's what I was talking about. Oh, no, I don't have it here. Hang on, I've got it coming up in another picture for you. Here's the back wheels looking at the rear of the car. So the regular exhaust that we have on C8 right now, trying to determine what this sensor is. 
this doesn't look like a test sensor. This looks like this will be a functioning sensor in the retail car, whatever it may be. And this is yet a different wheel right here than we just saw. So let's go back there for a second. Uh, go back. Yeah, see, that's a different wheel all the way. This has more of a twisty torque design, and this is more flat double spoke design. And this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be a real spoky wheel right here. Real spoky wheel. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, so here's the other wheel. Now look at right here. 2530 ZR20s. That's on the front end of the car. The regular Stingray right now, not the Z51, has 253519 19s. So this has 20s on the front end of the car. I think this is the E-Ray version. I really do, guys. Again, here's another version of one of these other variants. Several of these were caught out testing. Not quite sure where they were caught. That multi-level wheel. And they were testing with an NSX. Talk about racing. Let's go back to that for a second. Talk about, we see that guy. It's like, it's like, what? So here's car number three. We saw the inside of car two. Here's three and five. And as we look at these, these are bagged versions, obviously. More sensors right here. Quite interesting indeed. And uh, I love just talking about this stuff. This guy's flip is like, oh, <laughs> this guy's <is> pissed. <laughs> I just think that's a great shot. He's like, what? You guys know this is going to happen, so this should be of no surprise to you, bro. <laughs> He's like, what the heck? Oh, <laughs> it's great. And then they're being followed on the road. So we assume these are authentic spy shots. Again, here you go. This has got to be a convertible version. Um, or nah, it, it could be a coupe. But again, whatever's going on back here, they've got closed up. They don't want you to see. Yeah, I can't tell. No, no, no. I apologize. This is a coupe. You can see right here the window is uh, cantilevered open right there. Uh, here's the front end. Oh, yeah, look at this. I mean, real dramatic. Just really neat to look at this stuff, you guys, and just get excited for Corvette. There was another observation that I made, uh, one of two. So here, look at this real close. Some cord coming out the back rear quarter with a plug-in. That's a plug-in, all right? And then there's a little flapper right here that, you know, looks like the gas tank side flapper. So... What the heck is that doing on the passenger side? Not sure what that's for. So I thought that was interesting. And where's the other thing? Okay, really good looking front end there. Oh, right here. Look at how this is contoured on your side rocker. It's not just straight like it is now. This actually comes out and then contours back. If you see that right there, get a little closer. There we go. Comes back. This is all aerodynamics, especially if you're looking at an E-Ray uh, they're going to be maximizing any and all aerodynamics to, to get you some great performance numbers, economic numbers. That's the whole reason of an E-Ray. And uh, something different going on here, so that's why this is blocked. So we can't get in there and see that. So I wanted to share that with you. Again, here's that, here's that cord, a little bit better version. Yeah, that's a plug-in, man. That's a plug-in. And this is, to this is totally blocked right here, just a little bit of air inlet. So quite interesting on these uh, new spy shots. There's a whole group of guys there, NSX, uh, raising the bar for Corvette. The value story is beyond what anybody ever could have imagined right now. So real excited uh, at what's happening today for Corvette and certainly what is going on for our future. Oh, and yes, this one right here, uh, right-hand drive. So there were some right-hand drive variants uh, being tested as well out there. Can't see who that is. That's irrelevant. But uh, you can see there's a lot of work going on for Corvette. And that is a good thing. Absolutely. A little bit more here for you on our segment this week in Corvette. Corvette Racing is heading back to the 24-hour Le Mans. And this is huge for Corvette Racing and its program. Way to go, guys. Of course, they missed it last year because of covid and also in Corvette news, we announced just recently, officially announced from Chevrolet, the 2022 Corvette C8 production begins the week of September 6th. And if you're looking to build the car online, it's a lot of fun doing that. 
confuses you a little bit and it's hard to make a decision because there's so many great choices chevrolet.com will have the 2022 builder and pricer online live for you september 14th and finally on this week in corvette if you go to my channel hit the videos tab you'll see all kinds of things going on in the corvette community but recently on tuesday we shared with you the interview with michael the car owner of the corvette that was driven by the dealership tech in california like he was driving in a video game, 148 miles an hour on the freeway. And let's face it, this is totally unacceptable. The bottom line is, thankfully, nobody was hurt, and they very well could have been. So the conversation we had with Michael, that video link is down below in the description. You'll find out the resolution to that situation. You'll be surprised and pleased with that resolution as well. Michael, thanks again for talking with us. A lot going on. A lot is going to continue to go on within the Corvette community, America, and now I think the world's hottest sports car is this all-new C8 Corvette. Thanks for joining us for this segment this week in Corvette. And we'll be back tomorrow with my Sunday Coffee with Conti show. Not everything that I want to share. I've got so much footage to share. But we've got something from my recent trip at the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School at Spring Mountain. I'll see you tomorrow morning.